When I started out about 15 years ago, the way that I started was dealing with the editors and local journalists in the city I lived in, whether they were foreign correspondents working for you know, foreign news operations, local reporters for, you know, domestic news. Uh, journalists often, you know, have connections with one another across local, domestic, international platforms. So building a small network is a way of, you know, reaching out and connecting to commissioning editors at other publications. It's a, it's a network that starts small but that can grow very quickly. The best time to approach an editor as a freelancer is when there's a big breaking story about Iran. That's the time when everyone's attention is focused. That's the time when your email will go to the top priority of an editor's inbox. And it's a prime chance to be able to introduce yourself, your expertise, send some clips, and really establish yourself as a person that editor can reach out to when they need during a moment where Iran is in the news. I think it's very important to be on Twitter and to have an active Twitter account tweeting in English ideally or Persian both, making it clear that you are following the news, conversant, have interesting connections. You know, use Twitter as a place to show your insight, the depth of your contacts and networks. Very often producers and editors will reach out to people just by virtue of what they're putting out on Twitter. So sort of Think of it as a place to advertise your potential as a reporter on a daily basis.